Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. So, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this, but I think that it's prudent just for awareness. I, uh, I don't want to say anything that would potentially add panic to a, an already tense situation. Uh, going into this week, you know, we're two days from inauguration and there's speculation that there may be some attempts at repeats of what happened on January 6th. But I did want to share something that came to my attention today and I'm going to be very careful and deliberate in how I say it. Um, I received a notice that was supposed to go to only a certain group of people and it went to a much larger group of people um, within my organization and uh, this notice um, was was distributed in a way that was very odd um, for what was hap for, for, for what's happening right now um, there's two possibilities here for what happened uh, because of the fact that people like myself received this message. Uh, one of those is that there was a hack, that somebody hacked the system, and this is a very real possibility. Um, this, is, this is something that is being talked about online uh, in non-classified sections, so I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm only touching on those aspects. So that's one possibility that this was a hack. The other is that there was a legitimate mistake in who this was sent to. Either way, it's, it's odd. Um, the nature of the notice has to do with transition of government and it has to do with continuity of power. And uh, while in some ways it sounds fairly standard, I have... I have served through two other presidential transitions of power and I've never received a notice like this before. So I think what I wanted to take away from it and what I wanted to share was just the idea of remaining vigilant. And I'm not saying to be panicked, but it's just preparation. You know, I, I talked about, even in I had an episode on my podcast last year, Preparation is not panic. When I was talking about the COVID pandemic and the things that people were starting to do. So it's not something to be panicked about, but it's something to be aware of. That there are systems in place that we put out and we make notifications within the government if things are happening or might happen. So that's kind of the extent of how I want to put it. Um... Again, a lot of this is, is dependent on where this message originated from, uh, who sent it. Um, if it was some sort of hack job, uh, that's concerning in and of itself uh, because that shouldn't be happening. Um, but if it did come from the source that it should have come from, then it is a at least an indicator that... that that there's something to look out for and to just be aware. I'm sure that as we all saw what happened on January 6th, we're all feeling that a little bit. So I don't really think that I'm saying anything that should be surprising to anybody. But it's just something I wanted to make people aware of. And uh, I'm sorry that I'm not being a little bit more specific with the details. Uh, I, I just, I don't want to... Um, I, I don't want to obviously incite any kind of panic and also I don't want to uh, say something that I'm not at liberty to say. Um, you can search this online if you know the words to search for and you can find in public forums uh, such as uh, like Reddit for example um, is an example of a place you can go to for information um, and you can search this and you might be able to find some more specific information. But uh, anyway, um, that's all I'm going to say about that for right now. Um, just stay vigilant. Um, you know, if, if you feel like you might need to go buy a little bit extra food, 
Um, it might not hurt. Um, but just take care of yourselves and your family. And uh, on, elect, on Inauguration Day, if you can avoid going out, you might want to avoid going out. But anyway, um, I'll talk to you all again really soon. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, thanks a lot. And remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.